Welcome to this module on using the Excel meal participation file. This second module will orient you to the different sheets and provide basic instructions. When you have watched this file, move on to the third module to learn about transferring meal participation from paper sheets to the Excel file to get your monthly claim. The purpose of this module is to get you started on the right track so you will avoid common errors leading to inaccurate claims. We will start by opening the file for infants in the October 2012 folder that was set up in module number one. This next step is the most important one. The security level must be set so that you can enable the macros, which are a series of commands. Some computers are set to automatically disable the macros. Disabling macros will prevent the file from working as it is intended. The Excel program on the computer we are using is Excel 2007. If you are using a different version of Excel, you will need to refer to the online help file within the Microsoft Office. When the file is open, you will need to look for the security warning and enable the macros by clicking on the options box. You will know you have enabled the macros by clicking on the instructions button. If the pop-up window appears, the macros are enabled. The file has nine tabs that you can see along the bottom of the screen one for entering participant names and eligibility, five weekly sheets, the CMP50, one sheet for the claim, and one printing paper classroom sheets. We will start with the eligibility sheet. Click on the black instruction button and we will go over each of the tabs within this window. How to use this page. This is the sheet used to record the names of the participants and their approved level of eligibility. Use the codes A, B, and C to code participants for free, reduced price, and paid. Names will appear on the weekly sheets exactly as they appear on this sheet, except the eligibility will not be visible. How to sort this page. Let's say you have entered the names of all of the children and their eligibility, but want to sort by last name so the participants are easier to find. In this case, we would sort children that are together in each classroom. Attendance. If you want to use this file for getting your attendance for the month, you can use the shaded column on the weekly sheets. Enter the letter A if the child was in attendance. If you enter X, the attendance will not be tracked. Helpful hints. Click on this tab for important points about this file. Number one, create and save an original meal participation Excel spreadsheet with the children's eligibility added. If using the file for more than one classroom, leave rows blank between each classroom to allow new children to be added mid-month. The children may only be added to this sheet. Number three, if using a separate file for each classroom, stack all files together at the end of the month for a final monthly claim total. Number four, eligibility is hidden on the weekly meal participation sheets to maintain confidentiality. Number five, attendance will only total if using the letter A. Number six, don't get behind. Enter meal participation from the classroom sheets at least weekly. Before you start entering names, plan how many names you will fit on one file. There are lines for 60 names. Some centers are small enough that they can easily enter all of their participants. It is more efficient to enter names alphabetically by classroom, and we will show you why later. If you have a large center and 60 lines are not enough, Use multiple files as there is a tool to help you combine them for your claim. We are going to enter the children from the infant room. 
always enter the names with the last name first in order to sort by last name. Enter the eligibility using A for free, B for reduced price, and C for paid eligibility. We have entered participants' names with their corresponding eligibility. As you can see, the total number of free, reduced priced, and paid are totaled in the table to the right. Now we will sort the names. Highlight the names in columns C and D and select data and sort and then sort by column C in A to Z order. Click OK and now you have the infant names in alphabetical order by the last name. If you were using this file for more than one classroom, you would leave several lines blank between entering the next group of names. That leaves room for children who are added during the month in each classroom as they will be entered at the bottom of the list of children. Now is the time to use one of the helpful hints and save a copy of this file with the names and their eligibility entered. This can be the file that you start with next month. Always save as an Excel macro enabled workbook. We will skip that process and return to setting up the workbook. Before you start marking meal participation, you need to set up the file for the specific month. Click on the black button, Edit Date Information. This pop-up window asks you to select the day of the week that is the first of the month and the number of the days in the month. You are going to fill this out for June 2013 for our example. If you look at the calendar, you will see that June 1st is a Saturday, and we know that June has 30 days. Select Saturday from the drop-down box for the day of the week that is the first of the month. Select 30 days from the second drop-down box for the number of days in the month. Click Enter. Now you will see the dates for the days of the week have been pre-populated. Because the first of the month falls on a Saturday, you will not need to use week 5 since June 30th falls on a Sunday. Click on the week 1 tab and you will see the names in the same order as the eligibility page, but the eligibility is not visible. The top of the form is frozen so you will always read the day of the week and the meal types. You can now print classroom sheets for teachers to use for meal participation during the week. Click on the tab Classroom Template. On the right upper side of the chart are buttons with Week 1 through Week 5 and Reset. If you want to print sheets for Week 1, click on the Week 1 button. The dates will fill on the template. Highlight the rows that capture the children you want included on the classroom sheets. Click on the Microsoft Office button. Click Print, click Selection, Preview to make sure you selected the correct rows, and click Print. Now click on the button for Week 2 and repeat the process for all of the weeks and all of the classrooms. Clicking Reset will remove all the dates from the template. CMP50 has also been set up with the dates for the month. Now you are ready to start entering meal participation from the classroom paper sheets. Module number three will take you through that process.